Live stream will begin in five, four, three, two. All right, everyone, let's get to the gambling. Gambling? I, I gamble too much. I, I can't. Horace, I, I gamble too much. I cannot stop with the gambling. Oh. Okay, so today we're going to go over, of course, a good time. We're going to gamble. We're going to gamble a lot. We're going to gamble millions of gold. But we're also going to try to make it worthwhile. And we're going to use, I'm going to teach you a couple little tips and tricks that I have learned about gambling. So first of all, I'd like to give a shout out to Mr. Llama SC. Mr. Llama made uh, a video where he told me about this really cool diadem trick we're going to exploit by gambling for coronets. That's right, coronets. The first thing I want to talk about is how to get a discount when gambling. Why would you want a discount when gambling? Simple then you can gamble more times for the gold. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna be gambling coronets looking for um, diadems. And so first thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna refresh a few times until we find a coronet. Here we go, right here, coronet. Look at that cost, 138,530. Now I'm a level 90. I know that I would do better if I was level 94. Same thing as the crafting video from the last video. Um, same thing. And so, since I'm a level 90, I know I'm not going to get the absolute bestest, most perfectest rolls. That's okay, because I have millions of gold and I don't have nowhere to put it, and I got a YouTube channel and I don't even got need content for y'all. So, here we go. Let's look at that again. 138,530. Wow. Let's see if we can bring that down a little bit. Shall we? I made a bow. This bow is called Edge. It's a rune word. You want a three open socket bow, and you want a simple to use easy bow that requires very minimum strength and dexterity because you're not going to be firing this bow. This is going to be for gambling and for buying expensive items from vendors in the game. And so you can see the very bottom of the thing, it says reduces all vendor prices 15%. This includes gambling. Okay, so we're gonna put this on. Now, I already had a 15% discount from the Geed's Fortune. I guess I should take that off so we can see the full 
the full, yeah, that's right. I should take that, I'll take this off so we can see the full cost of all of this without even the geeds. Um, that, okay, yeah. give me a second here. So let's just take and put geeds away. All right, now geeds is no longer in my thing. So now we can see the full coronet cost because I didn't, sh I showed you with geeds. So let's go here, back to gambling. Okay, gamble. And let's find our coronet here again. Just takes a second. I want to flip through. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> I clicked past the coronet. Nice job. Now, if you're crafting, gambling is also a great way. So look at that. The full price is 160. Whoa! 162. That's a lot. You're not going to get very many coronets for a few million, I'll tell you what. So now let's go and let's put our discounts on. 162. How much can we get that down? Well, I've got a 15% reduction from Geeds and a 15% reduction from Edge. So that gives me an overall 30% reduction from 162,000. Let's see what the price is when I find the Coronet again. I apologize if I uh, didn't get the right thumbnail up. Ooh, 114. See, that's a, that's 50k almost, almost 50k off. That's enough to gamble an amulet almost. I mean, you know, or a ring almost. Whatever. You see what I'm saying? Like, the edge bow is totally worth the low rune cost. It's the, the biggest rune it's going to cost you is an am. I mean, come on. Am are great for crafting. You can use them for making caster rings and so forth. They're awesome. They're in a lot of great rune words like spirit. Am is an awesome rune. You're going to use it a lot, but it's cheap. You're going to find lots of them. Okay, so let's gamble. <laughs> 114. Let's see what we get. Now, here's the trick we're going to exploit. Shout out to Mr. Llama SC for teaching me this. So what you're going to do is you're going to keep gambling coronets. And if it switches to a tiara, it, or if it switches to what you really want, a diadem. As long as it stays in the picture, a tiara or a diadem, you can keep getting them for gambling. But if it switches to a circlet, you don't want to stop gambling. Don't no, buy the circlets. Okay? I'm going to demonstrate. So we're going to start by buying some coronets. Okay? And we're just trying to get it to switch over. We don't. We're not looking for a coronet. Crazy enough. Oh, there we go. We got a volcanic tiara of speed. Look at that. Not too bad. And since it still says coronet, now I can gamble that again, and I'm guaranteed to get a tiara. So let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of this. And we're going to keep this, maybe. So let's gamble another one. See, look, I got another tiara. But it turned into a circlet. So now I want to be done gambling and find the coronet again. You see how this works? Okay, so this is crap. I don't want this. Let's now find the coronet again. If you like this content, if you're learning something, if you're having fun, please hit the like button. Subscribe to my game, D2R. Will you be my 19th or 20th subscriber? This channel is just a baby. I really need your help. Please smash that like button, share this out, subscribe, all that great YouTubery stuff. Here we go, it was a coronet. Let's go. Okay, there's one. Ooh, diadem. And look, it's still coronet. That means I can get another diadem. Oh, it changed to a circlet. And that gave me a tiara. Okay, well, I didn't get anything really that good there, so we'll hawk it. Okay, you see how I'm doing this? I still got a couple million. Keep doing this. Rinsing and oh, I missed, missed my coronet. Darn it. I'm just gonna rinse and repeat until I find what I want or run out of gold, whichever comes first. I don't even know what I want. <laughs> I can't quite roll the best diadem in the game. I know, a little four levels shy or whatever, but that's okay. Spend these millions so I have somewhere to put all the gold that I'm raking in while I'm magic finding. Doing my key run. Just did a video yesterday with my sneaky, my assassin, doing some key runs. Check that out. And I just did a live stream a few moments ago. 
they can cast their amulets. That was a lot of fun. Check that out too. Come on, come on. There's gotta be a coronet soon. I skip past it and I was like, ha ha, you really don't want it. You skip past it. Come on baby, give me a coronet. There we go. Oh, he went right away to a circlet. I got a tiara of chance. Boo. Moving on. Coronets. Give me a coronet. Give me a coronet, coronet, coronet. Give me a coronet. Give me a coronet, coronet. Give me a there we go, here we go, gamble. Ooh, went to a circlet right away, what'd I get? Tiara of Frost Shield. Yeah. Here's gambling, see this is gambling, I'm calling it, it's gambling, cause you know, you, most of the time you get, oh, I just missed two coronets, oh. Oh, I clicked too fast, oh, the pain. With two on the same screen, that would have been freaking epic. My bad. Here's one. Okay. 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 Okay, anything here? Two to Paladin skill level, 20% FCR. That's crap. That's crap. That's crap. I mean, like, if you were hammered in and you had, like, nothing else, I mean, that might be okay. I'll stick it in here for now. Here we go. Cornet! Cornet! Oh, I'm getting a whole bunch of... Oh, circle it! Two to shapeshift. I think going to want that. Alright. So far, I haven't really found anything GG. It's okay. Okay, it's gambling. Gambling, you never know what you're gonna get. Oh, circlet! Plus two to Sork skill levels. Level 67. 21 to night, life, seven to mana, seven to all resistances. I mean, if you don't have a Shaco, level 67, I guess that'd be okay. All right, um, let's go. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just gonna st stick some of these things away, and um, then we're gonna we'll, we'll gamble some more. So, stick these things. I don't have a whole lot of inventory space. So, probably, I don't even know. I might get rid of these. I might give them away free. I don't know what I'm gonna do. That's part of the fun of gambling. We're just gonna have some fun, and we're just gonna gamble away five million gold. Five million, sir? Yes, five. Five million! Five million at a time, sir. How could you afford such gambling, sir? Well, we collected the same box. <laughs> okay. Moving on with our 30% off coronet gambling. We haven't found anything great yet. Um, stick oh, any trade. A couple of things that we're going to look at maybe giving away but nothing nothing that I'm really all excited about let's find some more cornets hmm. cornet 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 still says cornet uh, that one's not even as good as the other one because it doesn't have the FCR so I'm just gonna hawk that okay that one just had the FCR Find some cornets. Circle it. Crap. Yeah, okay. Keep it on rolling. Keep it on rolling. Now we're going to gamble more. Keep finding those coronets. Let's get something GG. I am Skeletor! I am so wealthy I can waste millions of gold in one live stream! <laughs> Guys, enjoy the 
additional entertainment that I am providing for you. Uh, yeah, scrolling, looking, ah, two coronets on the same screen. Oh, instantly turn to a circlet. Forget, crap. Instantly turn to a circlet. Crap, oh, there's three coronets on the same screen. Oh, that's exciting. It's all three of them instantly turn to a tiara of crap. Okay, keep going. Call gambling for a reason, sir. You just kicked away five billion gold from every gift to give away. Oh, two coronets. Diadem! Crappy, though. Let me count your circle. 35% magic fine tiara. Another, there we go. Raven Crest Tiara, level 52. I didn't, I already got one fire skill from me. I'll throw those two in my cube for now. Let's keep going here. Oh, I missed it. Oh, poo. Here's one. Nothing. 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 Barbarian skill level, 30% faster run walk. I mean, do the necromancer skill levels. I mean, that's okay. Okay, let's see if we have more gold to recharge here, or if we're out for the session. Throw some of these possible gifts or hand-me-downs here. Not that great, none of them. Well, I'm not really all that excited, but this is just an educational video. You know, I'm just, I'm spending money here. I'm not necessarily trying to make anything. All right, well, it looks like that's it. 5 million gold. We'll do just a little bit more just to make sure we got a full 5 million. I'm not 100% sure. Um, so I'll throw out an extra 900k just to make sure because I, I didn't really get anything. So we'll keep going. <laughs> a little more. This game like going to make it. Sir, he's got a problem, I'm afraid. Can't stop when he said he was going to stop. It's like alcohol, sir. He wants that extra drink. That's just one more, sir. He always wants to. Okay. Going off into a. Oh, I missed a cornet. Tangent. Here we go. Come on. Crap. Ah. Crap. Oh, here we got it. Tiara of the Elephant. Great! Yeah! Lots what I want. Okay, we're almost done here. Gambling over five million. Giving one and a half million in my coffer there for good stuff. Okay, this is it. Um, the rapping with curses. Okay. 
Okay, we got the money for one last gamble. And no. Okay. Well, let's take a look at the loot that we just got here. We just got a plus two to sorceress skill levels. This is probably the best that I got. So like I said, if you don't have a Shaco at level 67, I mean, this is something that's like, okay. It's not terrible. Um, plus three to fire skills with the 30% run walk. That one's not terrible. Oh, for a hammered in that can't, doesn't have anything better. Plus two paladin skills, 20 FCR. You got just the TR of luck, 35% magic find. I guess you could throw a perfect topaz in there if you really wanted to use it in quest and make it a really good stow shake. It would be a million times better. Plus two to necromancer skill levels. I think. I guess I can just throw it down. So I would have to say this is the best one that we got, but nothing was really that great. And so let's go ahead being the good Samaritan that this channel is. Let's go ahead and make a free game and just go ahead and just be really, really nice. Make no level difference. Oh, oh okay. And then I'm just gonna go to normal and I'm just gonna say free helm. Yeah, this is a probably be most appreciated in normal okay so we're just gonna go ahead make a game free helms and hopefully somebody come pick them up and we're just gonna start throwing them down not worried about it if anybody gets them that's great if not I could have got what two more gambles out of it that's it so I'll keep this one um, well, actually, I have a Shaco that I can just switch over to Frosta when she's ready. So, I, I'll keep this one for now. The rest of these are gone. We're just not going to do it. Okay, so let's put our let's put our edge bow back. That was fun. You know, I got one little thingy here. Not too bad. Oh, and earlier I was re-rolling Grand Charms, and I got an Entrapping Grand Charm of Flame. That was so cool. I I had to do it maybe 20 times. Um, but uh, I'm just going to tell him here, take your pick. If I think I take that right. Take your pick. Telling them all from gambling, too good to sell. Don't myself. So it really feels good to be that good Samaritan helping out young players, especially from, from gambling. I mean, like, don't, like I said, these items were, they were too good to just sell back for 35 K, you know, they were too good for that, but, but they're also not nothing I need. So, you know, just go back into some game, turn off the level difference. So little babies can come in and just let them have their pick. Enjoy all. So, thank you very much. Did you enjoy this video? This is just my what I think. This is my game. And, um, you know, D2R. You had a fun time there gambling? Maybe it wasn't the most fruitful gambling session I've had. But is that really what's important? I don't think so. I had fun. And I got to give some helms to some other people. And I got a little temporary helm for Frosta. That, um... She could use if I don't feel like transferring my Shaco over to her. Um, see, it looks pretty good on Skeletor there. So, everybody, what did you think? Did you learn something? Do you enjoy 
doing the um yeah did you enjoy this if you enjoyed it then give me a thumbs up thank you very much and i'll see you next time on my game diablo 2 resurrected